Hello! Irat Gamer here for another shitty game review. Today, I'm going to tackle a series that has never been touched by any reviewer on the planet. That series is called The Simpsons. For those too young to know, The Simpsons was an obscure cartoon comedy series from the early 1950s. It simply followed a family and their adventures in life. Unfortunately, it eventually got cancelled and quickly faded away. There were two Simpsons games released during the show's life. The first one is The Simpsons Hit and Run, the second one is The Simpsons Road Rage. First, we're going to look at The Simpsons Hit and Run. This game was released in 1982 only on the Nintendo Xbox. So let's pop this fucker in and play the game. Oops, I left the price tag on. Oh well, I'll edit that out later. The first thing that happens is you see a bunch of logos. I don't want to see that shit, get that the fuck out of here. Then you have to wait an hour for the game to load. Fucking finally. Then you're forced to watch this shitty cutscene. Damn it. My time is precious. I can't waste it on pointless bullshit like this. Poisonous to anybody that we know of. Once that cutscene is over, another fucking load screen decides to take some time out of your day. I could order my regular order of 16 large pizzas in the time it takes for this shit to load. Oh my god. Look at these shitty graphics. It's not even H fucking D. Uh, Homer. I mean, Homer. I wish that voice would just shut the hell up. It keeps telling me how to play the game. If I wanted to learn about playing the game, I'd read the damn manual. What the fuck? Who is this fat fuck ball? Do you remember him from the TV series? I sure don't. Anyway, so here's the Simpsons car. Can I get in it? No, of course not. It's just there for decoration. So it looks like I'll be walking to get around Springfield. Damn it, why is this fat fuck so slow? If only I could drive the car. So as it turns out, there is a way to drive the car. You have to walk up to it, and press the Y button. Who would guess that? And it's not like they give you any indication that that's what you're supposed to do. What the fuck? Why isn't the car accelerating when I push forward? After doing some research, I found out that you have to hold down the A button to accelerate. So we're basically running on the road fire MES principle, where the A button accelerates, instead of the up button. Move it! Ooh, the vibration tickling my feet! What the fuck? Why won't the X button reverse? Is my controller fucking broken? No. It's just more of the game's shitty control scheme. How about you take a wild guess at how to reverse? X, no. Down, no. Triggers, no. Give up? It's B. That's right, the B button. I've never heard of such a backwards ass bullshit control scheme in my life. What the fuck? Why is my car on fire? Holy shit. Did you see that? Hey Chris, what are you playing? <laughs> oh shit. Now my cousin Joey's gonna have nightmares for a week. Wow, look at all this money I got when the car blew up. I like money. I'm gonna have to try this in real life once the review is over. 
This car is probably the best car in the game. It's not too fast, and the turning is just right, which is pretty cool. You know what? It's not cool. Park the car. Looks like I'm walking again. Here we come to a ditch of some sort. There's nothing to do down here and there's no way to get back up. The only way to get out is to just commit suicide. Perfect sign of a shitty fucking game. And how about talking to people? You think it would be simple right? Well, think again, because they fucked that up too. Instead of walking up to people and having them talk to you, you have to press the Y button again. What's the point of that? Can't they just talk to me like in real life? I need you to run to the store and pick up some of that ice cream with the miniature pies in it. There are also missions to go on. They're nothing exciting, trust me. In fact, the only exciting thing about the game is when you turn the fucker off. For this game. Next, we've got The Simpsons Road Rage released only on the Microsoft GameCube. You'd think that they could at least make one good game based on The Simpsons, but no. They fucked this one up too. More fucking logos. Fuck you. So here are the main menus. Graphics are decent for an 8-bit system like the GameCube. Here's where you choose the level you want to play. What the fuck? Why can't I choose any of these? All of them are locked except one of them. Why did the game developers have to lock off all the levels you actually want to play? So then the load screen shows up and you wait. And wait. And wait some more. God, why do all the Simpsons games have to have these long fucking loading screens? Let's time this shit. Twenty-one seconds? Are you fucking serious? And the wait wasn't even worth it. The game sucks. The first thing that happens is an old man who's not even from the TV series comes up and insults you. How dare you clutter the roadways with that piece of rubbish? That's a great way to start a game, isn't it? Alright. First of all, what does this remind you of? You drive around the town picking up and dropping off people like a taxi driver. That's right. It's a shameless fucking ripoff of the famous series by Sega called Fantasy Star Online. I don't even need to comment. Ripping off Sega like that is already a good enough reason to hate the game. But it doesn't stop there. Look at these fucking graphics. Are you serious? The fucking MES can do a better glass smash than that. This game is like a fucking shit burger with a side of fries and chicken nuggets. And the nuggets are made of shit. So are the fries. Be sure to rate, subscribe and all that good shit because supporting the show is the single most important thing you could ever do in your life. Shit. It didn't work. Uh, yeah, you think?